Have you ever heard of Tibetan carpet weaving? Why is it such an important art form? Let's find out. Hi everyone, I'm Kat, the Youth and Family Programs Manager at the Connecticut Historical Society. Welcome to another episode of Objects Tell Stories. Today, we are going to meet Seyang and her mother Tenso, a master weaver from Tibet, as they share their story of why weaving is so important to them. Then, we'll take a look at some of their creations. Before we meet our special guests, let's talk a bit about weaving. Do you know what it means to weave something together? Hmm. That's right, it means looping thread together to form a fabric. Weaving has been important throughout history and today in places all around the world. The art of weaving, as well as the objects created, can mean different things in different cultures. It can represent family stories, religious beliefs, cultural history, and so much more. Today, we are going to focus specifically on weaving in Tibetan culture. Tibet is located in East Asia. In the 1950s, it was invaded by China and many people living in Tibet fled to other countries for safety. They are known as Tibetan refugees. Seyang and her mother, our special guests, are Tibetan refugees who learned weaving as a way to preserve their culture while also earning a living. Tenso is going to tell her story in her native language of Tibetan and Seyang will translate it into English. Hi, this is a little introduction about Tibetan carpet. Um, hi, this is Tenso, my mother, and I'm Tseyang. Uh, so let me ask that. Um, when did they learn how to weave? I learned to weave. So when she was 27, she learned how to weave in Tibetan carpet. Um, how did they learn and who taught them and uh, was it something passed down to their family and uh, was it taught in school or did they teach themselves? So 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 when Tento was uh, escaped from Tibet with her family in 1959, um, so in 1975, uh, there's a Tibetan uh, refugee camp in Nepal. Uh, so she joined the Tibetan Handicraft Center and she um, she is taught by the teacher. Okay, Ani, uh, why is weaving important to you and your family? Okay, so uh, it is important because it is part of Tibetan culture and art and it is the way um, preserving our culture through the Tibetan handicraft and, and also it's a, uh, earn, uh, it's a way to earn money for living. Thank you. Seyang and Tenso have created a variety of items including carpets, belts, blankets, and aprons. To see other forms of Tibetan art, visit our online events page at chs.org and scroll down to online exhibits. There you can find exhibits showcasing a wide variety of cultures and art forms. Now I want to hear from you. Do you have anything in your house that was made by hand? Why is it so special? Connect with us on social media and share the story behind the object. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Objects Tell Stories, and I'll see you again next week. Bye!